Okay, so I have here the remnants of an old pulse jet I built a few years ago. It's a fairly simple design of jet engine, no moving parts. They're incredibly reliable, but unfortunately they only have one speed, which is the clappers. But they're fairly interesting, and I think I've put it back together to show you how they work. Okay, so in essence, the way a pulse jet works is it has a two-stage cycle. You have an initial area, which is the combustion chamber, and you end up with gas in there, which combines with air and is set alight. You then end up with exhaust gases coming out the back here. There is another side on this, of course, which feeds into a main pipe, which arcs around. And the way it works is that air goes out, and then the sucking motion sort of pulls air back into the combustion chamber where it combines with more gas, which goes out again, and it just completes this process. So the first thing I've got to do is the combustion chamber, which is basically just a metal cylinder. I've sort of soldered an input on there. It's actually made of an old pen nib. And then you just need two sides soldered onto it like this. Okay, so I've just used some solder to sort of clear up the idea around here. I need this area around here to be air and water tight. Because the problem I had is because I don't have a welder, I need to solder it. So I'm using an outer area as a water cooling jacket. So when it works, this bit is filled with water that keeps all of the combustion chamber at under the melting point of the solder, which stops everything falling to bits. This was a real problem when I was trying to build it initially. Okay, so I have the combustion chamber all soldered together now. It's all nicely watertight because, of course, the water cooling jacket, the water can't get into the combustion chamber. And now I can show effectively how they work. So I have it up to this little tank here. I'm going to put a light here. And I'm just going to gently put a bit of gas into the chamber. And that's how pulse jets work. Okay, so I've soldered the back pipe on that goes around and completes the pulse jet. Um, I don't want to start testing it now. I've done a trial run off cam just to check everything works. Just done another one of those pulses with the pipe on like you saw in the last cut. Because all that needs to go on now is the water and cooling jacket just needs to go on over the top of here. I have had a good idea and that's to add in some steel wool, sort of thing you clean pans with. If I wrap this around here, sort of like that, it will be able to transfer heat to the water in the cooling jacket much faster and therefore much more efficiently cool itself, which should keep everything cool. I've also, of course, ran my tube from my fuel tank here into the main body so it's got a nice output. So I'm just going to put this stuff on here. The fuel, ja fuel jacket? No, not fuel jacket. We don't put the fuel there. That would be very bad and lead to probably a big explosion. So we get the cooling jacket and we just sort of push it on over the top. Make sure that everything's tucked in under there. That's going to be a pain to get in. Just let me get me. Things and so Ah, that'll do. So that's on the top there. I've got a hole in the top where the water can come in. And I'm just going to get a glue gun and glue everything on. But that will be awfully boring. So I will cut back when I have finished gluing. Okay, so everything's glued in place. Everything's soldered. I have a nice full tank. And I'm going to attempt to do a run. 
Moment of truth. Well, it just exploded. Air it out. What I need it to do is I need it to do one pulse and then suck in more air for the next one. See, it's vaguely doing it there, you can hear it. Oh, okay. Okay, so unfortunately that was the best I managed to get out of the Pulse Jet, this quite short run, but you can see on the slow motion that it is running, it is pulsing, it's doing what it intended. The problem is not actually with the engine I found, the problem is with the fuel tank, because the fuel tank cannot produce a significant amount of gas to keep the thing running. It will do an initial pulse, it will do a slightly small one and then it will sort of gradually get smaller and smaller until it completely runs out of gas and stops working entirely. You can see this in the slow motion footage I've got up. So what I really need is I need a better, bigger tank, but in the interest of not blowing myself up, I'm gonna have to put this on the back burner for a while whilst I think of a safe way. Well, I'm not particularly known for safety, but I fancy not being blown to the other side of the room, so... Yeah. This will be postponed until I have a better thing, but the jet itself works, so I hope you enjoyed. The video applies, even though I don't have the tank, you might have a tank. This will work if you have the gas supply. So, yep, hope you enjoyed. I'll see you